Hey Aquarius, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel and I apologize so much. I don't know how I end up cutting your, your section out. I don't know if I was editing and I, I don't know. So I do apologize, but this is going to air around the same time um, as the all signs for the past, present, and future read. It's not going to be that long. It's just going to be your past, present, and future reading. So we're going to go ahead and get into it for Aquarius, past, present, and future. Maybe I'll give you guys a little bit of something just because, you know, you're by yourself. This is the past energy for Aquarius. Past energy. Ooh. Past energy. Hmm. Interesting. Past energy for Aquarius. You guys were in a long-term committed relationship is what I'm saying. There was um, someone that came in between you and your person. That's what I'm saying. That tried to come out the ace of swords of gaining clarity, communication, you're like gaining clarity on a situation. You were definitely dealing with someone who was extremely sneaky and manipulative, trying to get away with something here with the seven of swords. So I'm going to take a pause for the calls here because the first card that came out was the queen of cups. There was some commitment issues. So let's say you guys are in a long-term committed relationship, marriage, or just you've been together for a while. This was like a scene. This was happening a lot. Frustration with the connection. Someone wasn't giving enough. They weren't being a reciprocal, sneaky. Then they pretend like they cared at one point, And then the next thing you know, they were still doing the same thing. Overwhelmed with feelings, crying with emotion. That's what I'm seeing here. Here with the Seven of Wands, this is talking about being very defensive. Maybe you were defensive, they were defensive, both of you guys were defensive, nothing was... Remember we just saw the clarity and the Ace of Swords was trying to come out. Communication just was lost. Something happened with the communication and it could have been intentional. You know, maybe someone was intentionally trying not to talk because the more you talk, you know, you find out information. So there were some problems here. I definitely see that. And you were in a long-term committed relationship, but now you're single. But this nine of pentacles is talking about someone else. Can I tell you? Someone else came in between your connection. Now, I see a lover, um, but I also see, see, death card, destruction, moving out the house, leaving. Yeah. There he is. But we already know. I mean, I've been doing your readings for a while, so it's not like I don't know. Yeah, secrets galore. And you were just kind of left like, okay, what is this? What's going on? You guys had kids together. You know, you guys were together with family and friends, and it just fell apart. Now, this is going to happen for you soon. The sun always is always a good card to see, okay? But we do see what has been happening. We see the dynamic of this connection. So we're going to go ahead and get the present energy for Aquarius. Let's get the present energy for Aquarius. You guys are so busy. Some of you guys have children. You guys are so busy. You're trying to juggle everything. Mm. At the bottom of the deck, it's like you guys are moving forward regardless. You, you, this is a new life for you. I mean, because seeing that, you do see that there has been there was there was a there was a foundation. There was a foundation here. I saw merging of families. I saw you know merging of friends and family for a lot of you. Even if you weren't married, this was to me. I see a long term committed relationship. A long term thing is what I saw. And I mean, we're talking about, it was almost like you can feel the tension cut. You can cut it with a knife coming off these cards. Four of Wands, you guys are trying to regain your, your stability. Um, some of you guys are trying to find new homes or you're trying to buy, you know, look for another place to stay, that type of thing. Right now, you just want things to be fair. So if you're dealing with someone in the past, you know, and you guys, you guys still have dealings with them. You want things to be fair and um, and trustworthy. And the very fact that the justice card came out, if you guys are, if there's in deliberation, if you guys are in court, I do see that it's going to work out for you because she she finally looks like she was she's relaxed, right? She can kick off her heels and just allow the universe to work in her favor. 
okay? Um, here with the strength card, this does talk about, you know, what you've been through. It, you need it to be strong in that situation, but you also have to be strong enough to run away and leave. It, I mean, it may not be literal, but, um, you know, you were, you have to be strong enough to move on because we saw it here with the pool card. Okay. Here I see that there's still some frustrations. Nine of Swords still being stressed out. I still see that happening. But it's no stagnancy. We do see things are starting to move for you, okay? But man, when I tell you, I feel that, that, that Queen of Cups did it for me because I had a flash of a scene where there's a couple or a connection where there was disagreements, arguments, where someone walked away. I'm telling you, it was different scenarios that I, that I saw. Um, and it this this has become a this was a problem. I'm not going to say this has become a problem. It, it has already happened for a lot of you, but this was a huge problem. Okay, someone turned cold. So we're going to go ahead and see what this is all about for Aquarius future. Let's get Aquarius future read. What's going on with Aquarius future? Ooh, okay. Really good. Okay, good, good, good. Here I see the, yeah, the emperor. <clears throat> Excuse me. This does talk about gaining control of your life. Some of you guys are about to have your own business, but this is definitely getting control over your life. Because I saw that Two of Pentacles before, which definitely talks about an imbalanced energy emotionally, just having a lot to do. First card that came out was the Star card. You're going to be okay, especially if you guys have kids, you guys are going to be okay. This is a wish fulfillment. So something that you guys are wanting is your card, but this is definitely saying that you're going to get what you want. Okay, it may take some time. Okay, here with the Knight of Wands, this does talk about um, someone that you have dealt with is still in your energy watching you. This is, this is truly the person who was, you know, in a committed relationship, but acting non-committal. And I want to tell you, some of them are going to try to come in here for some of you. They're watching you. I'm not going to leave it off with that, but that's some good information to know, just in case you didn't know. Because see, they see that you're moving on up. Let's go ahead. Let's get another one for Aquarius. There we go. Look at that. Told you. Ace of Wands, you have a brand new star here of what? A new connection, the lovers. I knew it was, I kept feeling like, keep going, keep going. I did the same thing with Virgo and it always comes out to be right. Hold deck here, those did not have to come out. So you have a beautiful beginning here, a passionate new beginning. Your, your career is gonna take off for a lot of you. Um, you're gaining control of the, over your life, all of that. So I want you guys to focus on that, okay? So just because you guys were <laughs> separate, I'm going to give you guys an art of manifestation. What is it that Aquarius needs to manifest? Yeah, I'm going to take that one because it flipped over. I'm going to get one more. One more for Aquarius, please. Yep, see? I always take those that flip. Here at the bottom of the deck, it says outcome. It says this card asks you not to be too attached to a specific outcome, okay? So just allow, just be flexible. Allow things to happen, like I said before, the way the universe is going to give it to you. But uh, again, here, um, some of you guys may be wanting a particular person and it may be someone else, okay? But there is a brand new passion to start with, um, with, it says lover, with a companion, okay? Here I have lack Oof, it says leading a, and I, that, this to me is not a spiritual thing. This has something to do with the very fact that you've lost so much. Some of you guys are still in that energy of feeling lack, whether it has something to do with your emotional fulfillment, someone consoling you, that type of thing. And it is money for some. This is the reason why I was, I was happy to see that emperor, because it does talk about things getting better, even financially. And here's independence. Absolutely, we see it there with the Nine of Pentacles. Even though there was someone else, you were in a committed relationship, but you became single. Okay? You may not have that person there to pick you up when you fall, but you will have someone. Here, this card says, it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing to be independent, 
but it talks about sometimes if we have been hurt or let down or trapped in a codependent relationship, we lose faith in others and learning to only rely on ourselves. So this does talk about um, having a healthy interdependence. Allow your friends and family to help you if that's what you have, but you will have either spirit, which will come in and bring somebody to come. I've seen it too many times that will help you if you do not have anyone else. So this was amazing reading. I thought it was absolutely amazing. Uh, a, a very negative past, but a really good future. We saw it with the sun. So Aquarius, this is your reading, your past, present, and future reading. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me and, and for understanding. I love you guys. Again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye, guys.